Okay. Okay, good afternoon. Uh, we will start the, the seminar today. Well, we are, we are so lucky to have the, one of the most uh, uh, prolific researchers in Thailand, uh, Dr. Bontri Sawang Pruk. Sawang Pruk, okay. I think he is one of the rising star of the Vistek. Vistek is the uh, recent well-known uh, university in Thailand, in Rayong province. Today is going to present the research uh, related to the uh, lithium ion batteries. I think you may you, you may remember, right, we talk about EV, we talk about uh, the future of the transportation and mostly the EV and also the, the, the automated driverless vehicle, you know, who are using EV also. So today you will hear the, some of the advanced research from the Dr. Montri. So, Without uh, spending, wasting your time, I pass the floor to Dr. Montri. Please go ahead, Dr. Montri. Welcome. Uh, thank you uh, very much, uh, Professor uh, Varasa. I think, first of all, I need to thank Ajahn uh, Varasa, Ajahn Varinja, to invite me to keep a talk today. I'm, I'm really uh, uh, honored to be here. Okay. The topic of today is about the lithium ion batteries. Uh, I think we might know lithium ion battery because we use uh, the battery in our iPhone, uh, laptop, or even electric vehicle. Okay. Uh, I think right now in, in Thailand, we, we have something like uh, uh, electric uh, uh, motor show, right? Uh, 70, 70, uh, 70, uh, Sorry, 70, uh, 72, uh, 72, sorry, <laughs> a little bit <laughs> excited, sorry. Uh, you can see a lot of electric vehicles, right? Tesla Model 3, Toyota EV bus, and so on. But actually, uh, if we look back in terms of the history of electric vehicles, the beginnings of electromobility mobility in the year 19th century, you can see in the, you can see the French uh, inventor uh, who staff uh, here from, from the uh, drawing that uh, he shows the uh, electric uh, vehicles and then you can see the battery there. So it's really old uh, technology actually at the uh, 19th century. And also if you look at the uh, uh, US uh, Porsche also have the electric wheel half drive in, in uh, the 19th century. Also cement, right, 1906 here uh, is about the uh, taxi uh, vehicle, which is uh, powered by the, the batteries. Also uh, around 1902, US car manufacturers use a lady driver to advertise how simple it was to operate its uh, electric vehicle right at that time. It's really, really old. In terms of a uh, commercial car or the truck, uh, right now it, it seems to be in Thailand, like one of the uh, big company, biggest companies 
uh, energy absolute or EA, they try to make the Thai uh, commercial car or electric truck. Look back in 1909 in, in Torino, in, in, in Italy. Also, uh, Porsche, 1907, the bus, right? Right now, we are talking about electric bus in Bangkok to reduce the uh, PM 2.5 and, uh, and other air pollution. But actually, it's, it's really old technologies. Uh, we also hear that uh, 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 the PDT group, they have the company, right, Swap and Go. Uh, in Taiwan, uh, it's quite popular, Swap, the battery. At that time, you can see uh, they, 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 they did Swap, the battery in American uh, railways service at that time. It's really old tech, right? And then move from uh, 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 long history. Like if you look back uh, during World War II, at that time, uh, Spain, <laughs> the lack of some uh, fossil fuel, it's like today, uh, <laughs> actually, the fossil fuel big, uh, really expensive during the, the war between uh, Latvia and Ukraine. Uh, you can see at that time, uh, Spanish, they, they have uh, 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 the, the car that used the battery, <laughs> personal car, right? Uh, well, uh, right now it seems to be uh, uncountable, the, the brands of electric vehicle that uh, there are a lot, but <laughs> you can see the history of the electric vehicle that use lithium ion batteries, which is the, the main topic today. I can, I can share you what is the lithium ion batteries. Uh, actually, in 1991, uh, Sony, uh, together with Asahi Kasai, uh, commercially produced lithium ion battery. And then you can see uh, Nissan, uh, Nissan Leaf, you, you may hear Nissan Leaf in Thailand. Is quite popular in, in Europe in uh, 2011 and then become uh, a little bit more popular in terms of the market share 2015 and then Korean Hyundai, Kia, Korean, Jaguar, Audi and at the end Tesla become uh, the leading uh, uh, electric vehicle companies in the world and then the target that uh, the uh, the customer need actually they, they want to recharge the the uh, fully uh, charge the battery which in 15 minutes they call fast charging and then maybe uh, you can drive for 250 miles say per single charge or per 15 minutes that that the target right here yeah. you can see the to meet this target distance about 80% state of charge, say if 100% uh, 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 of the full uh, charges, they need only 80% to make sure that uh, uh, they don't uh, uh, break the material inside the lithium battery in a kind of safety. So 80% is something they want, but don't go to 100% because the 100% is about, if, if we look at the technical, parameter that like the potential of voltage is about 4.2 volt. So they charge up to uh, four point something, right? That 80% of 4.2 volt, because at uh, the region between 4.0 to 4.2, <coughs> the, the, the material can be broken. It's really severe if we do charge the battery at high voltage. <coughs> In this case, for, for example, the EA battery, uh, uh, NMC, for example. I will go to detail later about the chemistry. But, but I love the first half of my talk. I will overview uh, because uh, you have different background actually. So if we look at EV market, right? Uh, mainly in, in China, China mainland, 50%, and, and uh, Europe, 35%, and US, and the rest of the world. So when people uh, want to build, uh, uh, say, gigafactory in Thailand, the simple question, 
uh, from the uh, <coughs> investor will ask right uh, the owner why Thailand because the the market is not here if we look at the whole uh, world market of electric vehicles so uh, we don't know why uh, mainland China but but if we if we guess because the they they don't have their own uh, brand uh, uh, like uh, Toyota, Honda, or something like that. So uh, they can make a lot of uh, subsidies to the battery producers, uh, uh, EV uh, customer or user. So that that why the market there. So um, all, all most of companies for battery and EV. They normally have the factory in China because the demand, the customer, the market is there, and and, and you look. So uh, and and if you look at the the Tesla take the lead in EV market, right? You can see here. So we can look at Tesla. For example, in November 2021, 20, uh, uh, total production was about uh, uh, 56. Thousand vehicles, but they estimated to be seven hundred thousand EVs per year in Shanghai Giga Factory. This is the real number, and then uh, they, they want to increase their uh, capacity to that level, and gonna become the largest of the Tesla factories. Recently, you may hear the news that the uh, the Giga Factory in Berlin, right in Europe. At, at, at why we pick uh, Berlin, they don't pick Thailand because the, the market is there. <laughs> they estimate like they're going to produce 800,000 Tesla EVs, mostly Model Y, uh, going to uh, be produced in, in Giga Factory in, in Berlin by using own, uh, uh, automations. But if, we, uh, if you have the question, uh, what is the target actually? Uh, the targets of EV, if we look at the, uh, the clean energy minute uh, trivial, uh, which is well known, they said the campaign like EV 30 at 30 campaign. Uh, the, the 30 here is 2030. And then they want to share the market of all uh, automobiles like 30%, right? That means they're going to reduce ice, the internal combustion engines. And then they can share, uh, they can have the market share like 30%. And lovely, if we look at the uh, number of EV that they, they try to uh, have, right, uh, or to reduce uh, the air pollution and so on, it is, it, it, uh, all together is about two, uh, uh, 250 million vehicles. This is really huge, actually. And, and mostly come from the passenger light duty vehicles. And then the later one is, is, is the, the, uh, the commercial, like commercial vehicle, like truck or van, for example. Right? But mostly uh, <laughs> even different types of the, the cars, but, but, but uh, the, uh, uh, they power by battery, uh, batteries, mainly lithium ion batteries. In Thailand, okay, they, they also have a 30 slab, 30 EV policy. And then you can see that if you are Thai citizen, you can read, I'm sorry for reading it, but actually more or less the same. It, it, they try to have some uh, uh, subsidies to increase uh, the number of electric vehicles in Thailand. But just the overview that we can hear from the, the news, right? And, and we can see the, the market, the demand is really huge. But if we back to the history of uh, batteries, uh, lithium ion batteries, actually lithium ion batteries just of 40 or 41 year old technologies only, right? I'm now also 40, 41 years. Actually, when, when I was born in uh, 1980s, it is lovely there that time. The, at the beginning of lithium ion battery. But <clears throat> for the battery in general, for folate acid in your car, for example, it is really old tech, actually. 
Uh, but if we go back to uh, the history of the batteries, we can go back to 1748 at the uh, uh, Benjamin Ila at that time, who the first person who, who called batteries. But before that, in Iraq, right, they have some uh, 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 back, back dash battery and, and at that time. And, and, and we have the uh, Alexander Wontas that, that the, the vote and look at the, the, the parameter that's so important for battery we call vote or the potentials between anode and cathode. Uh, uh, Alexander Wontas is the, the first one who, who produced the battery. You can see Alexander Wontas uh, invented and presented the battery uh, in, in, in to the King Napoleon at that time. But look at closely on his battery, he has the uh, copper and zinc, which is two uh, metal elements. And at the middle, he, he had the paper that absorbed the electrolyte. Electrolyte is the, the salt, right? Like sodium chloride in water, that, that the salt. But actually for lithium and battery, they have uh, lithium PF6 or lithium salt in organic solvent. In, in this case, you can see zinc and copper. One will keep electron, one will receive electron. It depend on a standard electrical, uh, electrochemical reduction, which is the based on uh, thermodynamics, actually. So in, in this case, you can see uh, uh, zinc corrode, right? Zinc metal becomes zinc two plus and keep electron away. To, to the road. And then on the other hand, copper receive electron. And at, at the uh, aqueous electrolyte, they have copper salt, right? And electron and copper deposit. So, so this thing is well known in electroplating technologies. If you look at your uh, uh, <coughs> metal steel, whatever in, in your automobiles, they, they use the same concept. They call electroplating in, in this case. And then at the end, you, you lose your thing, then you get an uh, electron and copper there. Uh, this is the, the uh, Alexander water batteries we call uh, a galvanic cell. The, if we have one cell, we have 1.1 1 .1 volt. The, the uh, potential difference between cathode, right, or positive electrode. And, uh, uh, minus the uh, uh, zinc anode here, the negative one, right? This is uh, the, the potential difference, 1.1 volt that, that we can use. So if we need to use uh, uh, 100 volt, we need to uh, connect the battery to be silly that right now we have packing, right? Packing the battery to become the pack and module and put in electric vehicles. Uh, <laughs> At the old days, uh, uh, people used the red acid, right? And after that, uh, uh, at the 1970s, uh, Professor Stanley Whittingham was the first person who used titanium for cell five uh, at, the, at the cathode, right? And using lithium metal at the anode, right? Uh, lithium metal love to give electron. Right, it's it quite active uh, element. And then it oxidized, become lithium ion, and electron go to cathode side. And lithium intercalate to uh, titanium sulfide because this material is high layer material, but it's not so stable. So anything that uh, based on sulfide compound is it, it, it easily to, to generate hydrogen sulfide and so on. So sulfide is, is not stable. Uh, then uh, Professor John B. Good enough. At that time, he worked as the head of the inorganic chemistry department. <laughs> he uh, invented uh, lithium cobalt oxide. He, he put lithium inside the layer material, uh, cobalt oxide. It's more stable than a sulfide compound. And at, in his material, he had lithium there. So uh, based on this compound, not necessarily to use lithium metal at the end anymore because we start with lithium cobalt oxide at the cathode, right? 
and the at that time we have the engineer Akira Yoshino. He, he not the uh, academia. He just engineer in uh, the company Asahi Kasai at that time. Uh, because he know this, and then he used uh, the anode material like petroleum coke, which is like graphite, but but not really graphite. But it, it, we have they have some sp2 carbon like like graphite come from petroleum coke, uh, and then they uh, uh, <coughs> carbonize, make it to be carbon from petroleum coke, make it to be carbon. We call carbonizations. Under, under in the gas at high temperatures, and then uh, the mechanism behave like this, right? When when we uh, charging the lithium from cathode go to the uh, graphite anode. At the graphite, we have uh, uh, the space between uh, to adjacent graphene sheets. The space there can uh, can hold lithium when we do charging, and then the voltage different between anode and cathode up to say 4.2 volt for example and then when we use the battery the voltage uh, reduced back to 3.0 volt and then we recharge again and and the me the the mechanism in chemistry is here we have the anode potential at the anode potential at the cathode uh, we have the difference between anode and cathode at the middle we have separator and there we have electrolyte, the salt. And in, in, if you are a science student, you can see that we have the electrolyte such as lithium TF6, right? And in organic solvent, we can look at homo lumo energy diagram of the electrolyte. Yeah, yeah, they, they got the uh, Nobel Prize in chemistry in 2019 for the development of lithium and batteries. So here yeah, you can look at the material lithium disulfide. This is the model, and then they, they have space for lithium. Uh, can be good enough to uh, replace lithium disulfide with lithium cobalt oxide. Uh, Akira Yoshino uh, used uh, lithium cobalt oxide at the cathode together with lithium coke because uh, we have lithium at the cathode. We don't need to use lithium metal. So uh, if we are uh, Scientists, we know lithium metal, sodium metal are quite uh, uh, dangerous and, and, and reactive. It, it uh, can react with water and you can see explosion and so on. So, so uh, that's why uh, it, it, uh, at, at that time, they cannot choose lithium metal because of the safety concern. But right now you may hear that people keep talking about all solid state battery, which is <laughs> the new technologies that use lithium metal at the anode. So when we hear about all solid state battery, it can be high or future. So right now there is no uh, commercial uh, all solid state battery. <laughs> so all solid state battery is not lithium ion battery, uh, it's lithium metal battery. And it, to make it clear in terms of definition, because in lithium ion battery, we don't have lithium metal. It just have lithium ion inside the space of graphite. At there, they, they, they have some electrostatic interaction between lithium ion and electron in the, in the graphene cheese of the graphite. It not form the lithium metal or lithium nanoparticle or lithium cluster. That's the idea of lithium ion battery. Also, if we look at in terms of the uh, uh, manufacturers, you can see uh, Sony Asahi, right? It's the first company, but they, they, they are not so successful because of at that time, uh, there is no demand, economy of scale not there yet. And also the safety concern, explosion of the, uh, set, uh, of the battery, it's it, it really a serious issue. They need to recall, the, the car, the, the batteries at, uh, quite often at that time. So it's not so successful. But the, the first company actually uh, who really developed the, the lithium ion battery is Panasonic because they have experience in terms of primary cell battery. If you go to a modern trade like 7-Eleven, you can see 
double A, triple A battery, and, and there they, they use the lithium metal couple uh, uh, with the <coughs> uh, sorry, uh, they, they use the manganese oxide uh, and, and carbon, right? And also they use manganese oxide together with uh, lithium for for the battery for our watch and so on. So Panasonic, they know how to produce the primary cell battery or early chargeable battery very well. And, and they, they, they are actually the, the market of the uh, primary cell battery like 2A, 2A, double A, double A, triple A is really huge, even uh, higher than the uh, lithium batteries. And then uh, the engineer for Panasonic uh, moved to move back to China and they produce the, a lot of battery like BYD, CATL. Right now, CATL is the really uh, the biggest company who supply the battery to many brands of the uh, electric vehicle, including <laughs> Tesla, right? LG Chemical, right? and then uh, Panasonic together with Tesla uh, is number three. And, and, and also they work with Toyota as well and BYD, right? Yeah, the same in, in Thailand, they, they, they also uh, chat the news or, or whatever about batteries. You can see the CATL website. It's really uh, impressive. And, and right now they set up new 80 gigawatt hour per year, which is very really huge. You can hear that EA, the Thai company produced one gigawatt hour per year. So imagine you have 80 times, right? Higher capacity than the EA batteries, for example. So the, the, the cost of the battery depends on the scale that we call economy of scale. Uh, we look closely in lithium and battery manufacturing in China, you can see CATL, BYD and, and other, right? They, right now they, they uh, use NMC, right? N stands for nickel, M manganese, C cobalt, they call NMC or LAP, lithium ion phosphate. You may hear that in Thailand we have two companies, right? One EA use uh, Taiwanese technology, uh, namely Amita Technologies. They use NMC at the cathode, right? NMC uh, uh, fifty percent nickel or sixty percent nickel, lovely. And uh, another company is namely GPSC under PDT Group. They use 74M uh, technologies from the US. They use LP. So uh, LP is cheaper than NMC and, 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 and safer, uh, right? Uh, safer than, but lower energy or lower capacities. Uh, LP uh, is suitable for short range uh, mobility, such as e bus but uh, NMC really suitable for long range uh, EV or passenger electric vehicles, right? And, and other company as well. So when people try to compare between EA and GBSC, actually compare between NMC and LP, right? That's why I, I need to give you uh, some background on here, right? 80% lovely, 70, 80% is NMC and 20%, uh, and 30% to 30% is about LP. In, in the market right now. If we look closely in terms of batteries, you can see uh, Tesla is the leading company and then we can look at their batteries. Their batteries is like cylindrical cell batteries. You can see uh, it's, uh, so like, uh, it's larger than double A and triple A in modern trade in 7-Eleven. Now we call 1865 and O. 18 in diameters, uh, in millimeters, lovely, and 65 in the length, uh, 65 pot something actually, and, and cylinder one. Uh, not here, is, uh, or silo here is stand for cylinder, right? And, and then they move to 20, 2170, oh, right? And keep uh, increasing the energy and reduce the stainless steel case in active material reduce cost and get high energy. And right now, the, the, the majority of the battery is 2170. And they, they came there in their uh, uh, opportunity day or, or battery days from their company. They're gonna produce uh, 
the the largest one here, uh, 4680, oh, right, and get uh, higher energy and uh, reduce cost, higher energy, higher power. So if we look at the uh, Tesla Model S lithium battery, actually the old version one, they use 1865 oh, and then you, you can see the pack in powertrain here, the, the uh, EV, the, the, the batteries and the capacity of the battery, the, the high wish link and so on here. Okay, that, that they pack a lot of uh, uh, batteries, say four to 4,000 cells or to 8,000 cells actually. So manufacturer is the major, uh, the leading company is Panasonic. Other company like Sanyo, Sony, Samsung, LG, Tesla, they also produce the battery, right? Application for laptop, digital camera and, and so on. Yeah, so that's Panasonic one. And yeah, for the Tesla one, you can see uh, in the, 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 the packing and the battery in, in the EV, the, the power train here. The issue of the this side of battery is still, uh, so still be the big concern is about uh, uh, heat that generate from the battery. Uh, you, you imagine that in the ice combustion engine, you have the energy efficiency lovely 30 to 40 percent and 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 uh, 60 uh, or 70 percent <laughs> become heat you lot right a lot of energy at the heat yeah, even when we use a combustion engine uh, on the other hand if we use the battery EV we achieve the efficiency lovely 90 percent 95 percent but if we go to a DC Far charging, we lose some heat. You you can maybe you eat some time, right? When you do uh, 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 recharge your mobile phone, iPhone. If you touch your phone, you, it it get it warm, right? Sometimes that that because of the heat that we lose. So we we never have uh, any device that that provide hundred percent efficiency. So if we go to really big uh, a large size or dimension of the battery. We need to cope with the big issue is about heat, right? We need to uh, have the cooling system very well. Otherwise, the safety become uh, safety uh, hazard become uh, very concerned. That's why it's not yet there in the commercial uh, for 46 uh, uh, AD side. Mm -hmm. So only this side I mentioned. And <laughs> Okay, in terms of figure of merit, we need to do benchmarking uh, comparison. You can see that, uh, uh, right, top Thai oil company, PTT group company, uh, and, and uh, Toyota, Japanese company, they, they have intention on uh, fuel, fuel cell by using hydrogen gas right there because of their DNA, their business, their, uh, they start from, uh, Fossil fuel, they have hydrogen from stream reforming. So they want to have some technology like fuel cell. Uh, but fuel cell, uh, the, the, the advantage of using fuel cell is that it can provide you really high uh, energy density because the energy source is uh, hydrogen molecules. You just break the bonding between uh, two hydrogen and you get electron, right? So the, but, uh, uh, the issues of fuel cell is that it need time to break the bonding and between uh, hydrogen molecules. So uh, you need catalyst and, and it's it not good in terms of power because it takes very long time for, for chemical reaction. And uh, look at lithium ion batteries there, right? It, it even did not uh, so high energy density as the fuel cell, but it's there, it's close to internal combustion engine, right? From internal combustion engine, they look at the energy density of the uh, diesel, gasoline, and so on. It's really high power because combustion reaction is really easy to, to occur. And then the energy density is really huge. So that's why it's so difficult to disrupt or to replace the dirty uh, uh, fossil fuel internal combustion engine, right? But lithium ion battery there. And also, uh, if we need high power for e bus uh, for tram and so on, that we have the uh, 
uh, station or bus stop, and we can uh, wait the uh, customer for one or two minutes, and then we can fully charge the device we call supercapacitor. Right in, in Chinese, they, they, they have some yin and yang, right? Lithium and metally and supercap, they are the same. They cannot replace each other. They, they work together very well. When, when in your EV, they, they put a uh, supercap in, uh, in, in Sealy or in parallel with lithium and battery as well to, to support the power for lithium and batteries when do need it, when we do need it. So we need high power when we accelerate our electric vehicle. So we need supercapacitor. Also, uh, fossil fuel cannot use alone. You need the battery as well. So, so in terms of the market, there is not really huge. Maybe the truck and so on can be. But, but the way that we have hydrogen is also another issue, efficiency. Overall efficiency, if we start from, for example, water, split water, to be hydrogen, we need energy to split water. We never have anything 100%, right? We look heat and so on. We, we get really less efficiency to split water to be hydrogen. And once we use hydrogen at a fuel, in fuel cell, we also get really, uh, say, 70 or 60% efficiency. And then uh, over time, right? And we call the, uh, the degradation of catalyst and so on. So overall, Efficiency, it, it, it say it lower than much lower than ninety percent or ninety five percent. So in terms of techno economic assessment, uh, fuel cannot compete with lithium and battery. And for blue sky research, they are looking at high energies by using lithium metal. There is lithium metal, in not lithium ion, lithium sulfur, lithium air, all sort of state things. There it can be hype or future. So there because it's just through sky research. And then here, lithium capacitor is the middle between lithium ion battery and super cap, right? Okay. And as we take, uh, we, we get the support from Ministry of Energies and PT Group, we are working on uh, in blue sky research <coughs> in, in fuel cell to develop catalyst and so on, uh, to, 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 to say it, there is no single uh, technology, right? But, but all together, depend on the application and, and also uh, supplies uh, uh, chain that, that we have. Look at more scientific, I, I don't know, if we, but basically you have different backgrounds, but if you are a scientist, you may love to see the uh, uh, thermodynamics part of view. Thermodynamics is a really good subject because everything needs to based on thermodynamics, right? Uh, so if you want to uh, evaluate the technologies, we need to go back to the thermodynamics. You look at the batteries, electrical works equal to the energy of if the energy change, and we, we, we okay, follow the equation, and then look at the kernel engine, which is ideal internal combustion engine, ideal ice, you can see. And if we look comparison, you can see it's about uh, three times uh, uh, higher energy efficiency. So that's why in terms of efficiency, uh, electric vehicle is much better than the ice. And the, uh, the power cost per kilometer is it one or two other, one, at least one order of magnitude less than ice. And, and maintenance cost also lower than the ice. So it's just wait for economy of scale and demand and, and, and uh, ecosystem for EVs. There is no question about the uh, technical <coughs> uh, issues or uh, uh, from a uh, uh, technology point of view, it's really clear, EV better than ice. And uh, for a comparison of the, the battery, we mostly look at the cathode material because the, at the anode, we have only one or two options, only uh, uh, like graphite is the best, um, uh, anode material, but for cathode, we have a lot. For example, LP, like GPSC use the 74M companies. They, they have theoretical uh, 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 capacities. You can see milliamp hour that the current times uh, 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 hours, actually the, the unit of the charge of electron, we call capacities, and normalized by the weight. 
of the material, right? The nickel one is about 170. But if we move to uh, uh, NMC, uh, it's actually NMC start from LCO. LCO is the, the, the first uh, cation material by Professor John B. Good enough. And, and from, from after that, right, he and his colleague and communities uh, modify or change the element from cobalt to nickel, from cobalt to manganese, and so on. And we have different structures, right? And then you can look at the, the good thing about this, the safety and high sea rate. The bad thing is about the lower capacities and lower operating voltage, only 3.4. And, and we will use NMC is about 3.6, 3.7, LCO up to 3.9. The volt is different, right? Look at the why the voltage is so important. Look at the, the, the voltage that you need to charge your mobile phone and so on. <laughs> so it's so 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 uh, important. And the motors in your electric vehicle also need really high voltage, right? To, to work. Uh yeah. Okay. And look closely in, in, in cation material, but if for, for comparison, we can look at lead acid here, and nickel, right? Nickel metal hydride in Toyota Prius, and also the uh, Amita Technologies and Ata company, actually they have LTO. Uh, LTO is anode material. Uh, it's not so popular as the graphite, but once people use a fast charging, right? The CEO of EA came that he love to have a fast charging battery or EV, you kind of use LTO at the graphite list replacement. GBC, LP, and uh, Tesla, Panasonic, they use nickel rich uh, NCA, NMC material. Uh, here you can see when you do charge the battery, the lithium dies, the, the clean ones here. Move to the uh, space between two <laughs> adjacent graphene cheese in graphite and stay there at, in, in, in the in the space there, we call the Van der Waal forces between two graphene sheets here, and we have space that uh, hundred percent suitable for lithium on site. That's why graphite is the best material at the end, right? And then we have lithium inside, so lithium ion uh, there it not uh, react each other become lithium metal nanoparticle. We don't like it, lithium metal because it can be seeding. Uh, particle and form lithium then dive or lithium metal while one D dimension, right? And very, very dangerous to, to glow <coughs> lithium metal then dive and make the contact between anode and cathode because short circuit and thermal runaway. This is that the, the, the safety uh, concern mechanism of lithium then dive. And here, uh, lithium form uh, lithium cobalt oxide that people recognize got John be good enough at the father of lithium and battery. Uh, here you can see animation. When, when I say uh, graphite, we have million uh, cheese of graphene and we have space there for, to, to hold the lithium when we do charging. On the other hand, at the positive electrode here, yeah? right? We have layer material like LCO, NMC, NCA, right? It went by 80% nickel. 10% manganese and 10% cobalt. Cobalt is quite expensive, but so far, uh, right now, you, if you look at the stock, uh, nickel price uh, be, even become higher and higher, right? That, that because of the, the, the demand of electric vehicle. And lovely, if we use carbide at the anode, coupled with NMC or NCA, we can have 250 watt hour per kilogram. That, that the best. Uh, uh, energy density so far that we can achieve from uh, lithium and batteries when we use graphite. Look closely uh, here, graphite and cathode, right? But actually we have separated at the middle. It is uh, polypropylene, polyethylene, can be single layer or triple layer. And there they can absorb the electrolyte, the salt there. So uh, single cell, we have like uh, four or five pumps of electrolyte and there. And then 
do we do need the at least 500 cycle to 50,000 cycle up to application and up to the cathode material. <laughs> and look closely on lithium and battery cost breakdown. You can see that at the cell component, the cathode, it's called you 10%. Uh, uh, electrolyte, 3% lithium PF6 and copper foil uh, separator uh, and, and the anode. Right, right now it's up to the, 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 the price of the commodities, metal commodity actually can be changed, but lovely about 10%. So when we are uh, scientists or chemists or physicists, we look at the material. If we want to play a new battery, uh, uh, we cannot say 100% uh, new. So make something new, need to go, go to really fundamental to the material level. That, that's why as we take, we play with a lot of cathode material because it, it majority, yeah, it's called about 10%. And, and other thing is, it, when we do manufacturing, it, the cost about the labor, and, but actually you need to have cost profit margin about 30% at the end anyway. But right now it's the, the same, the cost profit margin for a battery producer. But you need to go to this level, really new capacity. So uh, if you compare, for example, uh, uh, 30 megawatt hour per year of GPSC using 24 m uh, they are better going to be really expensive one. They, they achieve 140 lovely but upper kilograms. This is the, the technologies, the LP. The good thing is about uh, uh, cycle life. We got phosphate here. You can see phosphorus and oxygen here. In, inside our body, also, we have a lot of phosphate, upper phosphate, right? It's really stable. It's not easily to release oxygen gas. So it, it's really good in terms of safety. But we trade off here high molecular weight or too heavy. That's why when we normalize by the battery, battery is like the load, right? If we look at EV, we carry battery. That mean that means we carry the load. If, if we we need to uh, have energy for for battery weight as well, so we need to reduce the weight of battery. So LP is not good for long range vehicle because it's too heavy. But is it uh, we we get the benefit from cycle life because it not release oxygen gas easily. We, uh, we have at least 3,000 cycles and, and can have fast charging. That's the good thing about LP. So it's suitable for ESA energy storage, right? Stationary energy storage or short range, e bus scooter, e motorbike. Uh, look at NC. Uh, from Amita in their website, they have 50% uh, nickel, 30% uh, and 70% cobalt. Uh, they call NMC5 to be true, but the structure we have layer material, we don't have forfeit as LP, so we get uh, 60, uh, 60 watt up, uh, per kilogram higher than LP. So, lovely, it turns like something, depending on the, the anode that they use. If they go to uh, LTO, they, they can get less uh, energy density, but they can get farther uh, charging. Uh, look at the, uh, the carbonometric uh, uh, energy density. The vo volumetric is by, uh, normalized by the, the volume, the liters uh, of the batteries, the, the, the battery that produce the, the power cell. So uh, one gigawatt hour, a year is really huge uh, in Thailand, but compared to CATL, 80, right? 80 times uh, higher capacity than this, uh, than uh, Amita. So uh, economy of scale and so on become really big issues. If you go to the graphite, for example, at the anode, by its type, when we put lithium inside the graphite, the volume expansion less than 10%. So volume of battery is not clearly uh, expanded right in, inside the, the uh, volume of the anode site, not, uh, not uh, expanded, usually like silicon. But when people come to came, uh, for example, uh, Bangja companies invest in a startup company in the US, they use silicon, but not yet in the commercial because the big issue of, of silicon anode, even if you really high energy, really, really high, you can see that is over, 11 or 12 times higher than graphite, but volume expansion over 20%. So the, the, uh, 
the lithium reactive silicon become the alloy. So it can be exothermic reaction if you have side reaction. It's not like graphite. Graphite just intercalate, right? Oh, I talk too slow. And then uh, you can look at that. The anode side can be graphite, which is the, the most uh, available one, the best one so far, and LTO. Uh, sorry. And the alloy one, the cathode, they have a lot of options, LP and so on, and, and NMC, right? And here you look at the structure. If you have layer material, it gives you high energy, but very fragile uh, for the structure. It, it easily to collapse. If you go to 3D, 1D, you have connectors. You have the bridge here. Yeah, it's more stable, but you get lower energy. Right? There is no single uh, universal battery that trade off. So the property depends on the application. I would say that. I jump a little bit farther to what we are working there in CAE uh, and NMC and also also at Tech here. Yeah? Uh, we play with this. So uh, if our sponsor, Mitri Omniji PDD Group, they, they, they demand actually really, uh, they, they give us really uh, short periods of time to do research, right? And we need to produce IP and also we need to have freedom to operate if we want to scale up to the manufacturing level. So we need to work at the frontier uh, material. We start from NCA and we look at the issues and draw back up NCA. Uh, in this case, for example, we do encap encapsulation. We know the issue of uh, NCA is, is fragile, it's lead to uh, collapse. The safety big, is a big issue. And for example, in this case, we do encapsulation with our uh, mechano fusion without using any chemical, we, we can uh, enhance uh, 10 or 20 percent uh, uh, performance, overall performance, uh, like capacity, energy, and longer life, and so on. And also, we, we part the safety in this case, and we do uh, research in really fundamental. We have excellent diffraction to look at the structure of, of the material when we do charging, discharging. Yeah, for example, uh, maybe I cannot go to details in terms of uh, too much scientific. We do testing, like in operando accelerated fraction, what going on in, in the structure C lactate, right? If we look at the unit cell of the material, uh, we need to go there at that level, in unstorm level, we see the expansion, even, even there, 10% in car phi or, or uh, 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 contraction in the cathode when we pull out the lithium. Yeah, you can see a battery power plant uh, look like this. I have the video over to show you. Uh, uh, it takes uh, maybe two minutes, maybe uh, I skip. Okay, two and a half minutes. I hope that uh, it's okay for you. Maybe I, I will stop uh, at two, five, something like that. Don't, don't worry yes, about time, go ahead. Dr. Mantri, it's, don't worry about time. Okay, okay, that's, that's really, really high, a <laughs> little bit nervous about time. So here you can see the robot. When we do cleaning the material, right? Uh, we have a lot of material, say a hundred, a thousand material. We don't know yet, we cannot produce at the practical or uh, clinical cell because it, it, uh, it's caught a lot, right? So we do a coil cell level uh, and then we use robot to produce say 100 cell, 200 cell per uh, 10 minutes, something like that. And here you can see we have mixing. Uh, when we mix it, so the, to make things happen and uh, or practical, we need to go to very really high tech and very really clean, very really dry. The mixing need to be vacuum and, and the, the, the quality of electrode need to be very really stable uh, and, and need to be a uh, really dense Advil to make it low volume of electrodes. And we can put uh, a lot of material inside the case. So uh, the electrode needs to be really dense. Our job is that to make the, make sure that we have the IP for our country. We keep publish uh, 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 ISI papers to make sure that uh, peer, uh, the experts in the field can uh, evaluate and review our article and uh, we can make sure we are in very good uh, directions 
and then we have patent, and then we produce a prototype and we test, and we hope that uh, at the end we can uh, uh, make the impact for our countries. We have by using our technologies because right now GBC use 74M, EA use Amita. So uh, uh, if, yeah, but, but it's not that easy, right? <laughs> it's a big amount of money, really difficult for uh, uh, executive to make decision. But we hope that at, at the end of the day, we can make the impact in, for the countries. Yeah, is, is what, what we hope and look at the, in detail, you look at the, uh, which tech, because at, at that time, we got uh, support for Ministry of Energy. They require us to have very really high standard battery, and we need to pass everything here. We achieved 250 watt hour per kilogram by using, say, MCA at the market based material, and we do modification by encapsulation. And the chill material can be carbon and can be other material. Is it our technologies by using uh, mechanical fusion, which is scalable? without chemicals, that, that one thing. And that, that, the second thing about our technology is about additive in the electrolyte. We add some new electrolyte that, that can make the passivation layer at the graphite or in, in, the, in our field we call SEI to make it more stable. And actually uh, we make it like insulator coating. When we have impacted, once we abuse the battery by mechanical energies, the contact between anode and cathode happen, but not allow short circuit. So we, we achieve safety. So that, that's another thing by additive. At the anode side, we also have some composite material. So there we have uh, our own uh, IP that, that to make sure that at, at the end, we, we have freedom to operate at the last scale. Yeah, you can see uh, we try to uh, convince people, you know, convince people, communicate with people uh, by science, by paper, it's not easy. So we need to make the prototype and put the battery inside the, the application and to make sure they understand us. And you can see, uh, we also try to compete with the LP. Uh, LP can go to really high uh, bar charging, high safety. Uh, uh, and, and right now we undertaking, we can achieve 180 watt hour per kilogram. 40, 50 uh, watt hour per kilogram higher than LP, but, but very high stable by using our technologies. And also we have uh, some blue sky research, lithium sulfur battery. Uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, uh, we don't know yet because there, there are some uh, advantages and also uh, uh, the advantages of pros and cons actually, because it can provide you a high capacity, high energies, but the, the difficult thing is we need to deal with the lithium metal. So even we put the our solid state electrolyte there, we still see some lithium then dive. But uh, sulfur is very cheap, so it's very really good to do this uh, in this field. And we hope that uh, we can achieve. Right now we, we have the full phase. There we are here. So but we we seriously we still have the issue at the lithium anode and the safety concern of the, the battery, but we can get very high energy. Also, we we working on a uh, uh, supercapacitor, as I mentioned, in bigger amylid and hybrid one. You can see we have lithium and battery, you have supercapacitors. This is based on redox reaction, right? Lithium in and out. Here is based on electrostatic interaction, the physics, right? The uh, When we do charging, the counter on it as well. So here it depends on the surface area of the anode or cathode. Right? We can use like activate carbon. It can provide really high power. This one high energy. All together, mix them together, we call hybrid. Right? And then we can, we can have lithium ion capacitors. You, you can see uh, we uh, produce a lithium ion capacitor. It is suitable for electric bus and also the tram and so on, which we have the bus stop. Uh, we have time uh, for bus stop, say one or two minutes, and we can fully uh, charge it, the battery, uh, the, 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 the hybrid one. For the lithium battery, we cannot. Okay. So uh, the material that we use, we produce at this tech, 
uh, we start from we make sure that we, we have supply chain sub, uh, suppliers right in Thailand we are very really good if you look at uh, the industry in Mapaput we, we we are very good in making the raw materials. So we make some caffeine here, caffeine aerogel, to be used at the, the hybrid, at the, the, the electrode material in hybrid capacitor. We even think about the why the farmers, uh, if, we, if they produce rice, right, and use at the food, it, it, you know, they're still uh, uh, facing uh, the, they, they, they're still very poor, right? If we can turn the rice to be raw material in, in uh, advanced uh, devices, it can be maybe help them. But we, we get some uh, comment that maybe uh, not good to do research in this area because rice is so important for other food. So we don't know, <laughs> uh, but we try to uh, convert uh, uh, sticky rice, for example, uh, to be activated carbon really high quality one, bioactivated carbon. You get 10% yields. You can see uh, if you buy rice, it cost you only 35 baht, right, per kilograms. But here, if we turn it to be advanced material, it provides maybe uh, one or two order magnitude higher than uh, the rice here in the same amount of the weight. And it works really well in our prototype. And then we come up with IP and, and uh, Practical risk cap, and then it provide nominal voltage up to 2.7 volt, and capacitance is about 150 volt per cell. The commercial from uh, China is lovely 100 something volt per cell, and the material and safety pass it. This is another technology that, that we have uh, for high power. Also, for really frontier new concept, new physics is become really popular in blue sky research. Right now, what happens if we use uh, or enhance the charging or get the free energy from the sun? We call photo charging or photo active, right? And then we can uh, uh, get the benefit from the free solar energy when we do charging the, the material. In solar cell, we know very well we have semiconductor like silicon, we have valent band, conduction band, we have photoelectric effect. And one, we, we, uh, we, uh, uh, Expose our device, uh, transparent device to the to the solar to the sun, and then we can excite the electron uh, from uh, here within band to connection band, and then get that uh, free electron uh, for charging. That 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 the new concept. It's really a new concept, uh, and then uh, we 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 really pioneer in this too. Like for photo super cap, photo uh, uh, sync ion batteries. They, they are highlighted on the cover of the. The, the journals, sing air, sing air badly, and so on. Right, the summary you can see that uh, we working on determined batteries. If we uh, badly need it in really short period of time, we can start with the NCA, NMC with, uh, uh, with some modification, uh, encapsulation at the catheter, some additive, and some uh, material in the graphite. And then we can come up with the IP. And we have freedom to operate. And then we, we set now and target right here. And also we have the bit cap, hybrid one, and blue sky lizard. We keep going. Uh, even fuel cell people believe PT, they make the in, lot of investment on hydrogen fuel cell because of their DNA. Uh, or we also working on ethyl catalyst here, move to there. And then imagine we have we are here 250, we want to move to there, but <laughs> It's not guaranteed that we're gonna so successful because we're working on silicon, which is difficult, lithium metal, which is difficult, uh, but we move there as the, the home of communities. They move like this, right? This is the pile of time. Okay, uh, I have a full uh, slide. To, to make sure that uh, what is the technology is gonna be the, the, the later, actually depend on, depend on the application for sure and depend on the supply chain, right? Uh, if you have uh, the material in Thailand, that maybe you can do a lot of uh, part of the material, right? Okay, and you can go to our website to look at uh, in details if you need. And uh, mainly because we are working on academics, we we our job is to make sure that uh, we are in a really good direction and 
many peers can evaluate, right? And then uh, uh, we got a support from the Ministry of Energy. We need to have you knowledge sharing right today. I'm really happy and, and really, uh, feel a great honor uh, to get this, this opportunity to give a talk. And, and yeah, I invite you to go to visit, and even on-site visit. <laughs> and we try to have some bit out, but it's not easy, <laughs> but all of that, we, we can do, you can go to our website. We have some prototype product there to look at. Because uh, in Thailand, we have some big gap, right? From R&D and commercial one to make sure that our, as the scientists, we can, we can help uh, the people in the companies. We need to have up, to, up the quality of the devices, the material to the, the high level standard. So uh, if we do a uh, spin up company, we can take our product to the customer and get the feedback, right? And then we can learn and uh, 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 improve the quality of the material and devices. And then there, we hope that people in, in the manufacturing there can easily uh, scale up to, to the commercial products. <laughs> All right, the acknowledgement, we would like to thank, I, I would like to thank the uh, Ministry of Energy uh, and PG Group and, and also uh, my, uh, uh, former university, Kassessa University, uh, the government, and uh, a lot of colleagues from uh, Japan, Oxford, and Texas, Professor uh, John B. Wood in Upgroove, and uh, the announced, uh, University of Announce, the editor of uh, JES, and also Jeff Dan in, in Hawaii, which our, uh, my team, I cannot have the result to present. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the the uh, result come from my team, my student, right? That, that all. <laughs> Thank you for your kind attention. I'm happy to answer any question. So, Maybe sorry for five minutes late also. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Montri. First of all, we, we are so proud of the, your performance. And as a founder of WISTEC, you know, I am, we are, always proud that uh, you have done so so much uh, work for for Vistek. And uh, today you have given the overview, the big pictures of, uh, you know, development of battery for, especially for EV. I understand that the, the competitive factor for this is the specific energy, the, the capacity per kilogram of the weight. You know, because the, the vehicle have, uh, you, you need a small size to fit into the vehicle, but yes. you need the high capacity. Yes. And, and with, with the more than 250 watt hour yes. per kilogram that you have done, yes. I think that is only, only the one of the best. Uh, I'm not sure whether we have time for, for other questions, but uh, normally we, you know, our, our audience from YouTube live, you know, they, they will send question that I, then later on I will send to you. Okay. But I, have one, I, I myself have one question to ask you. Please. I think you, you talk about battery for EV. Yes. What about battery in general for the industries? Because I understand that, uh, you know, I read a book for, by Tony Sebar, The Clean Energy. And he said, with the uh, solar energy, with the wind energy and with the batteries, Eventually, we don't need any, any, any uh, you know, oil or, or other kind of energies, you know, and, yes. and being able to, to store all the energy created by solar or wind, you know, it could yes. be used. Uh, so we don't need uh, electricity at all. So, so yes. what would be the kind of battery that we can use for, for in general, not necessarily yes. for EV? Yes, uh, for industries, uh, the battery need to be... Uh, uh, cheap or much cheaper than the battery EV for sure. Nice. So we need we, we don't need a premium battery like NMC NCA. So we can have like LP because LP is the really cheap uh, material because the, the the lithium ion phosphate uh, lithium the ion element is much cheaper than nickel and cobalt. That that one option. Uh, okay. The old technology is like a uh, lead pro battery. If we do not care about the dimension. The volume, or because the, we just uh, put there, right? We don't move the battery, either flow battery. Uh, 
lead or lead acid battery it can be a very good option as well. So basically, uh, most of uh, the <laughs> ESS industry they use lead acid battery. Uh, toxic, it heavy, but it cheap. Uh, and also the, another thing is that we, when we look at the cycle life of the <laughs> EV battery, up, after ten years, for example, uh, we uh, we have the battery still still work there, even in lower efficiency, but uh, it still work very well. We look at uh, we talking about second life of BV battery uh, from the EV, so we can use the second life battery at the industry battery actually it really work really well look at say if we have a hundred percent battery in ev after 10 years uh, 80 percent of them still working so we don't need to do recycle we can uh, use that battery for other application that, okay. that, that need cheaper uh, battery so we have uh, many options with acid battery lfp a little, a little bit uh, extensive but uh, high performance battery, lead of flow battery in Japan, in Korea, uh, uh, second life uh, lithium battery, NMC, uh, can be possible. Okay. And then when, when do you expect that uh, we would have all the clean energies in place of the fossil energies? When, uh, when how many years uh, later on? <laughs> What do you expect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, yes, it's a really good question, but it's difficult to answer. But I need to give you the evidence. If we look at the, when people change from uh, uh, to uh, ice combustion engine, it takes only 13 years, right? At the, from the beginning. It's about a decade also. So right now, that, that's why people make the assumption uh, 2030s, uh, say 10 years from uh, uh, from now, lovely. Uh, it cannot be something really uh, exponentially uh, change because there the demand, the capacity, and so on. If we have, say, lovely uh, 200 million <laughs> electric vehicle in the market, there probably we don't need to use ice, and ice become really expensive to produce, right? Because the scale, the economy of scale, it not, not, not cannot be the, 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 the demand there. Uh, so I, I, I guess 10 years uh, to 15 years, years from, from now. now. Yeah, uh, based on uh, our uh, prediction from analysis from Boomer, from uh, uh, our uh, uh, prediction house, <laughs> yeah, I believe, and also the, in our uh, scientific communities, we, we can achieve very well. Uh, uh, in terms of improvement of the specific energy and safety and so on. Thank you so much. I, I open the floor for our students who are, who, is, who are now with us in the Zoom. Anybody would like to ask question? Could you yes. open your, your camera and you can ask question direct? Okay. Um, okay. Go ahead. For my question, now I'm preparing a report about capacity management in automotive industry. And so if the EV car is the future trend, um, what do you think about, will Thailand be the interesting place for the automotive companies to be invested to produce EV car in our country? Is there any companies that are looking for it? Uh, to be honest, yes, it's so difficult. And, and I share you some slide that the demand, the market is not here, right? The side when people like Tesla, they, they have pickup factory in Shanghai because there the market there. They have Berlin pickup factory because thirty five percent of the market of the market share there in, in Europe, right? So uh, basically, when when uh, develop country or the rich people, they do care about the environment. They make the, a lot of investment on, on the clean and clean technologies. That, that, uh, that's why you can have uh, a lot of electric vehicles there in Norway, in Europe. Uh, China is another, another, the, another case, another story, because China, they are, they, are, they are facing big issue about energy, right? They, they, they don't uh, have a lot of fossil fuel. They also have the pollution issues and, and so on. So 
China is a big market. Uh, to make Thailand more impressive, right, for the investor, I believe the policy and, and also we need to think a little bit bigger, Southeast Asia, for example, right? If we are lucky uh, uh, in, back in the history for automobiles, Japanese uh, uh, companies, they invest a lot there because there are a lot of demand in Thailand. We are, we are really uh, uh, impressive as compared to other countries in, in, in this region at that time. But we need to make something like, like, uh, like before. So we make like uh, policy, ecosystem, uh, subsidy, and also uh, increase the demand to be Southeast Asia region, not the Thailand, right? And then need to have the inverter. When they invest, maybe they keep investing. But right now, I believe uh, many companies, they look at uh, Indonesia, Vietnam, and so on. So uh, right now, you say my answer, maybe no. <laughs> <laughs> not really competitive. Okay. Okay. I see. Thank you. Some other questions? Jen Wu, Jen Wu from China. Actually, like, I have to correct something. Like the Chinese, it doesn't mean about the, the like the so-called lack of fossil oil stuff. Because like actually like China oil is like, an, like, uh, like the fossil oil in, in China is like, uh, it's not that so-called like lack of and uh, we in China, the, the, the truth behind the Chinese, in Chinese EV industry is that the Chinese government really want to sh throw away the yoke behind uh, the, the Western companies because the like, Western companies have dominated the fossil, fossil car industry in the, in the past. So now, like, it's so that for Chinese companies, they have to use this opportunity to find, find, find a new path to, to, like, uh, to do that. So, like, it's, the, it's the kind of like a Kind of way to end the like the domination domination stuff. So that's the case. That's the truth about it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Some other question from from the floor from from our audience here. Okay. Also, also like the city I live in is now fully electrified. Like many public transport station, like ground public transport are now electrified. You can put like electric buses, electric taxis. Everything. Yes, yes everything. Yes, very really good. I think Chinese government is really smart, I believe. Yeah, it's a mega trend and then they, they, they pick the, the good choice. For sure. <laughs> we, so we if, uh, go ahead, anybody. If there's no other questions, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Montri uh, for this uh, seminar. I think it's kind of eye-opening for all of us. And I, I hope that uh, one day we could either invite Dr. Monty to our school, you know, to, to meet some other students. Otherwise, I will bring, you know, students from, from the, our school to visit Vistek, which is, yes. I think, the very impressive place for, for research. And some of our students will be there as well. So with okay. this, I would like to again our appreciation for your lecture. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you a lot for your kindness, Professor uh, Warasa. Yeah. So okay. the, the the seminar is adjourned. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.